Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is a Let's Try video and the game I'm trying today is called Card City Nights. Uh, here is the description on the left hand side. This is the one from uh, Steam that says Card City Night is not a traditional card trading game. It's an adventure game with many characters to meet and weird locations to explore. In the center is our new card battle system that breaks away from the fantasy TCG mold with connecting cards to form combos. All right, looks interesting. It's rated very positive by more than 500 people. That's pretty good. Oh my god, 2014. How long has this game been sitting on my computer? Never mind, better late than never. On the right hand side, this is Gog that says Journey through the nighttime city in this charming card playing game. Meet bizarre and familiar faces while battling your way through bars, dark alleys, and shady corporations. Card City Knights adventure through a city filled with card nuts and lunatics. Battle for the eight legendary cards to enter the biggest competition this city has ever seen. Alright, let's jump right into it. From uh, from the art, really, I'm expecting something quite quirky, definitely very cartoonish. It's not really the sort of art I would, you know, be attracted to, but, you know, let's give the game a try. Oh, I forgot to say the, the ratings from GOG were 4 out of 5 by 87 people, so also pretty good. Dear citizen, here's a little housewarming gift from the Big Chest Casino. Enjoy. Well... That's what it says on the deck of cards. I just got moved in today. I don't know anyone in town. Huh? There are strange noises on the street outside. That would be a hint that with a big arrow to go outside. Definitely very cartoonish. Very weird characters. What's that? It's, it's a duckfish. Oh, it's a fish bun. I don't know. But <laughs> brrk, it says. What the? Is this guy challenging me to a card game? Phew. It's on. Let's see what the card game manual has to say. Alright, so for the purpose of this video, I will be playing through the tutorial, stop the recording, play the game for at least a few hours, and then get back to it, uh, look at the reviews, and see to what extent I would agree with them before, you know, I can uh, I can make a, an informed opinion. Right. The goal of the game is to reduce your opponent's defense to zero. All right. To accomplish this, you need to place cards with a attack symbol on your board and form combos. Try connecting three attack cards, and your opponent will take turn placing cards. Right now, it's my um, playing not in crosses instinct that tells me take the central central um, spot. But okay, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of difference right now. And my opponent is never going to do anything, right? You connected cards with at least three symbols and the dominant type was attack. So I can make combos with different symbols, but I need at least two of the same, I guess. Now you get to attack either your opponent's defense or one of their cards. Uh. What happens to, is the card going to go away? I'm not going to do that. The cards don't do anything anyway. And I've dealt three points of damage. Okay. You can also make combos with defense symbols, which will increase your own defense. All right. And this time the arrows are the other way around. And you're still not doing anything. Poor, poor fish bun. Fish bun doesn't stand a chance. Okay, plus three. Or if your opponent attacks and disables one of your cards, revive them with a revive combo. Disabled cards are useless, so revive them quickly. Uh -huh. All right, so if I had attacked their card, it would have become grayed out. Note that these cards have two symbols on each. That means you only have to connect two of them to get a symbol. All right, only two cards needed to get three symbols, and then we have something going on. And this one goes in both directions. Yeah. If I 
you connected cards and that was good. <laughs> I didn't read it. There are a total of four types of symbol, attack, defend, revive or neutral. If you connect three symbols of mixed type, the combo will be of the dominant type only. In case of a tie, you get to choose. All right, that's all. I did it. Right, that's the tutorial. Now battle this guy for real. All right, let's try. Me versus Fishbone. Okay. Clearly later on I'll be able to create different decks. I'm guessing decks with attacks or decks that would be pro, pro domin predominantly, there we are, uh, defending. I can't think of more than two types of decks right now, but never mind. Okay. Um... All right, I'm thinking if I can start building my attack combo there. And then I can either complete it here or up there. And my drone will do that. Yes. I think I'm gonna just try to kill it. It's just two or three combos and that will be it. Unless he manages a defense combo. Oh wait, placement plus one defense to owner. All right, so some cards are gonna have some effect right away. I would love to do another attack combo, but so far I only have one card, so it's very limited. I could do this. And then this one over there, we'll see. Oh, now you give me an attack card. Okay, I'm going to start building an attack combo up there. This guy is really not good at matching anything. Honestly, I got a feeling winning this. I'm going to put the, the drone there. Yeah. I got a feeling winning this game is really... Not that amazing. I mean, he's not even trying to match them. Ah, oh, damn, I should have put this one in the middle, now that I have a second one like that. That was badly played, but then again... Ooh, lucky. Mm -hmm. Opponent could not place a card. Alright, so it's either you lose because you've lost your hit points or defense or because you your board is completely filled with cards. Crook. Oh, poor fish bun. That's not a person, it's just a fish bun. No wonder he was so bad at the card game. Fair enough. Hey, there you are. Hello, purple girl. Sorry, this is my fish bun, George. He runs away and chews on cards sometimes. Say... So, is that a starter deck? Are you a new in town? Yes, I am. I knew it, but if you're going to play the card game, a starter deck won't do. Ooh, I got a pack. Thank you. This is a booster pack. It'll help you build better decks. Okay, gotta go. We've got a card club in school, so drop by sometimes. Brack. Well, that was interesting. I guess I should check out my deck in the deck menu and head to the school. Alright, so this is to go home. Let's have a quick look at my deck, shall we? Manage your deck. You can copy a deck. Alright. Draw cards. A legal deck needs between 25 and 40 cards. Okay. You can have five common cards, three uncommon or one rare. Gotcha. Anyway, right now I got mostly common and uncommon. So, all right, I can have a lot more cards. Like how many? Oh, that's good. Needs two, does nothing. Placement, revive a random disabled card, then remove this card. 
So this one is not going to do any combo, but it's going to go away straight away. And for now, the only way you can instantly revive a card that I can tell, or you use these and something else. It's not like I have an awful lot of cards right now. Okay, it's probably a bad strategy, but I'm just going to put all my cards in there um, so that I can move on and uh, do at least one fight that is not part of the tutorial map. Okay, clearly this is where I need to go. But I'm guessing I'll be going all over the place. Double click. All right. Little dude. Hey there. Never seen you around before. What's your name? Done, eh, huh? I'm Little Dude. Was just chatting with a pal here about the legendaries. Loafer, that's, that's your pal. See, the big chess casino is holding a competition and the prize is a million coins. Whoever gathers the eight legendary cards may battle the card king, the leader of big chess casino, and win the prize if they beat him. But the legendaries are extremely rare and the booster packs with them have already run out. That's right, says Lofa. I'm gonna battle everyone I meet until I win a copy of each legendary card. And then I'll beat my old grandpa, the card king. All right, whatever. <laughs> if you're serious about the card game, you'd better try to find the legendaries too, or I'll beat you to it. Speaking of, I heard there's someone in the bar called the cave who found the legendary. So yeah, I'm going home to perfect my strategy. The million will be mine. Catch you later. Hey, Lofer, up in my fishbin. Let's play some cards. Okay. Yeah, figures. Again, guess what? The leader of the school card club found a legendary card recently. I have to go through the boss. Okay, then I need booster packs. So I can fight her. Lots of booster packs. Coupons. But you know what, let's go for, if I'm going to do a fight, uh, the Ittle Jew Adventure Booster Pack. I'm guessing there's a bunch of different, uh, what, series? Let's see. Best of one. I'm a little worried that there's going to be a best of five and that's going to take forever. Okay, my deck is just the way it is right now. We, we'll see. We'll just play a, a game with someone that is not fishbone. Lots of neutral there. This is useless right now. Plus one defense to owner. Okay. Combo together with DG, whatever DJ is. I have two attack cards, but they don't go together, so let's put that neutral there. Oh, he's mixed up the two. I'm not sure I could do that, but then I will either get only one point of defense or one point of... Oh, but wait a second. If I want to attack the cards, then... I really don't care that I have only one attack, I'm guessing. We'll see. We'll investigate. So one attack card should be enough. Ah. That's two and I have plenty of possibilities. Just one defense owner, okay. There we go again. I mean, this strategy, okay, not a good strategy. I'm gonna try to line up. It's just, I wish I had more attack right now, so I could really, really go for the hit points. Clearly, this guy has a lot of uh, revive cards. Okay. Now you're attacking me. Oh, 
Oh crap, I don't have a card. I thought I had a card to go there. But I don't have any besides the attack one and I'd rather try to make a proper defense combo or a proper attack combo. Nah. This is not looking good, is it? Hopefully if I get the... Um, what was it? I had the drone, that one. Ouch. Give me the drone. Or, okay, I'm desperate. So I'll use a neutral and I'm gonna try to attack because apparently I can't I can't disable those cards fast enough to get healed before I can do anything. I got nothing with an arrow up, so this one right now is completely useless. And the only thing I can do to make a combo is that it's gonna give me hit points. Maybe I should have looked at those cards rather than just go and uh, put everything I had. But it's the first game, so. Oh, you're starting to put cards that don't make sense, do you? In that case. I need to do a quick little combo, quick and dirty. If I put, I'm going to put one of each, I don't care. Like that. And then the neutral one there. I want to disable this. Rotate a random enable opponent card. Okay. I would rather I disable them. Done. Got nothing to go up there. I could do that. I mean, it's going to give me one point of defense for now. I don't have anything better to do, I don't think. You know what, one thing I'm missing is uh, a timer. Because the way it is, you can you can just wait forever. Hmm. 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 I've got too many of those. Can I connect them to something and get rid of them? Not really. These old men are not good. Not good at all. And yet, I'm going to put one here, hoping that I'm going to get a card that I can use and make them go away. Oh, you got a frog, you poor thing. More defense for me. And now I believe I'm going to win the game. They go away, good. Oh, what was that? I don't know why it, that, that one was attacked. Okay. But I got my pack of cards. More fish bun. What? All right. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to stop the camera now, play the game, and get back to you uh, in a second. You'll never know I was gone. Okay, and we're back. Didn't I tell you it would be a second? Okay, I've played the game uh, for a few hours. Unfortunately, it's not a Steam game, so I can't tell you how long I've played. Uh, but enough to unlock a number of locations. There's still a few. I don't know if these will be something, uh, probably. And, uh, and I must say, it's quite enjoyable. What I'm going to do is uh, go through a number of negative comments that I've seen on Steam. They, they were the top one. And, uh, and see, and see, you know, if, if they really, really are a problem. Uh, the first one that I saw in the top comment, one uh, rated most useful, it did say there was a performance issue. 
and I can't I can't agree with that I didn't have that it could be it was at the very beginning the game is quite old maybe it's been pat patched but I haven't had any problem on, uh, on my older computer so no no problem there there was a comment about the unrealistic uh, RNG well yes I mean we, we did see that the style is weird we have purple people this is this I don't know diamond lady they're all very weird looking as a turnip person I like this one actually it was quite funny it's a matter of taste if you don't like the cartoony style and it's a bit you know it's, try, it's trying to be humorous it's quite funny but it's not particularly um, witty uh, one other criticism and I'm going to show you the, the decks for that was that to win a game, you would always use the same strategy, namely you would have an attack deck with lots of uh, attacking cards and you would disable the cards, completely paralyzing your enemy. Now, when I remember when I started the game, I tried to do that and with the cards that I had and with the, the cards that my enemy had, it wouldn't work, but it is true that some uh, opponents that I had, that's the only way I could win. Ah, it was this guy. This guy right there, my only chance of winning was to disable the card. One other thing that is interesting, I finally worked out, if you remember when I played that fight, the first one, the first real fight, not against a uh, fish bomb, um, my opponent got a damage out of nowhere. That happens when you run out of cards. So if I was to start a fight with this guy, stone face, to get yet another booster pack, he starts the game, yes, best out of three. He starts the game, I'm going to use this one, with, come on, 33 cards. So if you have only 25, it means, yeah, sure, the cards you want to do the combos you want are more likely to turn up. But then again, if you don't win quickly, you're just going to take some damage. And the way it works is, from the moment you have zero cards in your deck, you're going to take one point of damage. The second turn, you still have zero cards. Obviously, you're going to take two points of damage. So even if you're winning the game, you're going to lose it very, very quickly. So based on your enemy, you're going to want to have more cards, at least as many as them, basically. Uh, so yes and no, always using the same strategy to win, not really. With that guy... Uh, he was very aggressive and hitting my hit points all the time. I used the defensive deck. So maybe I just didn't go far enough in the game. There's a number of locations. I don't think you need to keep using the same strategy. I know for a fact that there were a number of opponents. I wouldn't have been able to use the disabling strategy. Another uh, common criticism is that you have to farm and you know I have to agree to some extent but then again farming is something that you can find enjoyable if you remember there was this guy here that I battled and he gave me a booster pack and basically I battled a guy a number of times so that I had a good deck to beat the little boss of the club and she gave me a legendary card and then I moved on I went to sorry I went to the next location was what the cave and then I was battling this guy for booster packs different ones so that I could be that guy and then I don't remember the order I think they sent me up there but you see you see that the way it is typically this is uh, where I need to go now I need to go there indicated by the yellow light typically when you arrive in a new screen there's the guys who need to fight against a number of times to get a better deck that you need to beat the, the mini boss of that area that has one of the legendary cards. So yes, to some extent there is some farming, that's how you get your card. Though there are other ways you can get cards. If you go to the shopping mall, right, the mega mall to be more precise, this guy is going to sell you cards. But as far as I can tell, he's only, only going to sell you cards that you already own. So if you want multiple copies of them. Yeah, I don't recognize anything here that I don't have myself already. <coughs> I 
I have the Eliminator. Oh yes, I do. It must be one of the last cards I got. Oh no, I never use it because it's just crazy. At the start of the turn, it moves anywhere on the board, so it, it's pretty hard to plan anything. And if it had arrows everywhere, I wouldn't mind so much, but it doesn't, so I don't use it. That's why. That's why I'm not used to seeing it. So you can get those extra cards that way. You, you know, if there's a particular combo you like, you can you can build it, which actually leads to another um, complaint or uh, criticism that there is no deck building. I wouldn't really agree with that. I do feel that maybe there aren't that many cards, especially compared to games like you know Hearthstone that has a number of expansions. This one is a self-contained game, I guess, so it, it has a more limited number of cards. That being said, I only created two decks myself, because I guess I didn't go that far in the game. And these so far were enough. But I think there is some. However, it is very, very true that it is definitely, definitely a casual game. Uh, so much so... Uh, I looked around a little bit. The, the game is on a mobile platform as well, uh, iOS and Android. And I did get it on uh, on my phone because it's the sort of game that you can play, you know, when commuting or that sort of thing. Whereas when I'm home and I have my computer with all the, you know, computer power, this is not the game I want to play on my super strong, uh, well, you know, reasonably strong and reasonably fast machine. So it is casual. I would have liked in the fights uh, to have a timer, to have a limited amount of time to play. But then again, on the mobile platform, when I'm commuting, I quite like the fact that even if I'm in the middle of a, of a fight, uh, I can actually stop the game, get off my train or the underground, whatever. So there are pros and cons. Uh, one of the last uh, comments that I saw is that the AI is cheating, particularly the last fight. I cannot comment on that. Uh, I will say that so far it hasn't felt too unfair, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it is a card game, so if you've played, you know, Magic the Gathering, uh, Hearthstone, whichever, you do plan your deck, you do, oh yeah, this one is going to go with that one, I need to line up that one and that other one. Hey, sometimes the card you need just doesn't show up and you're going to lose because you're not lucky. And that gets a little annoying when, let me see, who had a number, was it here? Bunch of money, sure. I want to know, best out of three, best out of three is not too, too bad. But sometimes you need to have three victories. This one, you just need two. And three victories means that you have to not be unlucky three times in a row. And it takes luck, <laughs> clearly. So in that way, the game can feel a little unfair. Beyond that, uh, I would say that the game is quite enjoyable. If we, if we look at more uh, traditional, this one is good. I like that one. If you look at more traditional... Um, criteria to judge a game I would say as far as graphics go you like the style or you don't it's not really my cup of tea but it's quirky and funny I can go with it there we go I can go with it uh, the sounds I must say the music is actually quite ouchy you see this one it's going to be hard to disable all the cards. I'm going to need some shields, I think. Otherwise, it's going to kill me real quick. It did three points of damage with a combo, and one of the cards damaged me. It does that again, and that's it. I'm gone. And it had a few cards that gave defense as well. Let's see. Let's see if I can kill that one. Just for you guys. Hmm. Gosh, I'm good. And then you have to do it again. All that for money, which is not something I want. Uh, but the music, the music is pretty cool. It's sort of a easy listening, jazzy. I kind of like that, I must say. 
again, it's down to personal choices. Um, in terms of how innovative the game is, well, it's a card game. So in that way, it's not very innovative, but the combos, they're quite interesting. And uh, when you plan your deck, not only do you need to think, you know, try to have something balanced, uh, but you need to make sure you have enough arrows going up and enough arrows going down and about the same going on the left and the right. Otherwise, you can have the very best card, but if you can't chain them up, it's just not going to work. Uh, how many cards you put on your deck is also an important element. I usually stick to 25 unless my opponent has more. In that case, I want to have a, an even number. Um, so that when we start taking damage, we both take damage. It feels more fair that way. Though I suppose it could be a strategy, I haven't tried that, to have a very large deck and to just wait until your opponent runs out of, uh, of cards. Because when you run out of cards, there's absolutely nothing you can do. There's even there's this card. Uh, it's really, really cool. As long as it's enabled, so it hasn't been attacked, I cannot take any damage but the damage you take from running out of cards, this one you do take it. This is a pretty nifty card. I like that one. It's got four arrows. It gives you protection as long as it's enabled. It comes in disabled. That's true. But um, it's a good one. I like it. Uh, so innovative. As far as card trading games are, yes, it is reasonably innovative. And the, the whole mood of it you know it's funny I've, I've said it a couple of times it's funny it's quirky it's cartoony it doesn't take itself too seriously so that's rather different from the you know the, the fantasy uh, sort of theme we're used to seeing in games like Hearth, uh, hearthstone i wanted to say hearthfire that's scary hearthstone or elder scroll legends or even magic the gathering Overall, I would say the game is rather fun to play, um, so much so I did get it for my iPad so that I can uh, I can play it uh, when I'm commute because it's, you know, it's a no-brainer. If you're looking for something really challenging and puzzly, this is not the game you want. You don't have a timer, so you don't have the pressure of quick, I have to make up my mind. You can take all the time you want. Uh, if you lose... You don't lose anything, just the time you spent in the game. You don't lose your cards, you don't lose money. You can, uh, you've can. you seen me a couple of times, I just said, oh, abandon the game. I don't lose anything, just the time I put in the fight. So, fun little game. Uh, yes, there are some elements where you need to farm to get your deck. And yes, one strategy seems to work a little better than the others, but not always, not with every opponent. Uh, possibly, I, I don't know, uh, the, the very last, the, the, the boss of the leader may be a little nice down there. No, which one is the casino? This is the casino. Uh, maybe then that's a little unfair. I didn't go that far, but I think the game is reasonably priced. So if you want something to do, a uh, nice little card game, quite funny, I would uh, I would recommend it. This is it for me today. I'll see you very soon for another Let's Try. Bye, everyone.